Um, hello, everyone. Hey, Kelsey, glad you can join us today. Ingrid, so happy you're here as always. Um, no requests. Wow. Well, as more people are logging on, uh, feel free to type in the chat. Let me know if there's anything in particular in your body that wants some attention today. And then I encourage you to find a bolster. You very well may not have a bolster in your home, um, but if you have a pillow or a couch cushion um, or even some blankets, grab that. And then if you have some smaller pillows or some blocks or even some books, you can grab that as well. So we're gonna get super, start and end with some super restorative posing today. Those of you who were with me last week, we're gonna end, start and end the way we ended last week, even though it cut you off because I didn't change my camera battery. Um, great. <laughs> Yay, Bree, I'm so happy you're here. So one last time as people are logging on and getting settled, go ahead and grab something that resembles a bolster. This can be a couch cushion, a pillow, some rolled up blankets. Grab whatever might resemble some blocks. So this might look like some smaller pillows, some books, um, again, some blankets as well. And we are going to start on our backs today. And I want you to find your way onto your back and rest with your back against the earth and allow your body to just be held by the earth here. Let it get really heavy. And then I want you to wrap your arms around your rib cage and squeeze yourself tightly here. So feel your shoulder blades, your back pushing into the earth. Feel the arms wrap around you and then let's start to take some long and slow breaths. So inhaling through the nose, feel the inhale move down the chest all the way into the stomach. And then feel the exhale moving up the spine, the back of the neck, and out the nose. Inhale through the nose, filling the chest, filling the belly with air as you move towards the sacrum. And exhale, feel the exhale trickle up the spine, the shoulder blades, the back of the neck, and out the nose. Take a few more breaths, focusing on this rhythm. Inhale, moving down the front side of the body. And exhale, moving up and out the back side of the body. And as you breathe slowly here, just start to notice how you feel. You might find it strange that I asked you to start practice in this way, hugging yourself, but I promise there's good reason why. So just allow your breaths to lengthen, allow the breathing to be long and slow, particularly the exhale. So we're taking some time right now to give ourselves an oxytocin boost to activate our parasympathetic nervous system. And we're getting the boost of this by allowing ourselves to feel held 
things like petting a wild animal, but not really a wild animal, but an animal like Luna, or giving someone a hug can give you an oxytocin boost. This is our love hormone. It has loads of benefits, including motivation. And deepening our breath helps to activate our parasympathetic nervous system. So with our body feeling like it's being hugged and held here, and our breath long and slow, we're really turning on the rest and digest part of the nervous system. And getting a motivation boost from the love hormone. And this is important because we're often trained um, or we learn in life kind of to take action based off of a fear state. We get that adrenaline rush when we hit our fight or flight response. Um, people often use fear as a motivator. Our stress response is often what will keep us going because we think we got to go, go, go all the time. However, we can also take action from a place of rest, from this rest and digest state, from this oxytocin. So we don't need to be in an adrenaline rush all the time in order to take action. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So as we move on the mat today, I want us to focus on not turning into that burnout, not having adrenal fatigue, letting ourselves calm the body, calm the mind so that we can return to our more relaxed state, our natural state as we move through the world. Inhale. And exhale. Continuing to feel the breath Inhale, moving down the front of the body. And exhale, moving up the spine and out the nose. Take a moment now to set your intention for practice today. So whatever inspired you to arrive, whatever it is that you might like to release, or receive, you can repeat that intention in your mind. And collectively, I invite us to set an intention to move from a space of rest, to move from a space of love as we move on the mat today. Lots of long and slow breaths to keep us in check along the way. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, you can release the arms and bring your arms out to a cactus T now. And then gently windshield wiper your knees from side to side. So just starting to get in some little movement, some gentle twists. You can drop the knees to one side as you look over the opposite shoulder. And then switch it back. And then inhale, bring your knees into your chest, your hands to your kneecap. And then start to move the legs in one direction, getting into the SI joints. And then the opposite direction. And then bring your arms out to a cactus T. Bring your shins parallel to the sky and engage your core here. Feel your low back get really, really heavy as it pushes onto the mat. 
Now think about straightening your legs towards the sky. And then you can start to move the feet out. Maybe pedal out the feet from side, back and forth. Oof, my ankles pop in. The knees might not be ready to be totally straight. That's really normal and very okay. So just let the knees have a little bit of a bend. Keep the low back grounded on the mat. Inhale here and exhale. Slowly move the left heel towards the mat. As slow as that left heel can go. And then inhale, lift the left leg back up to meet the right and pause at the top. Inhale here and exhale, slowly lower your right heel towards the mat. Keep that low back grounded, move it nice and slow and then Exhale, lift that right foot back up and then bring the knees into the chest, hands to the kneecaps, wiggle it around again. Bring your arms to a cactus T, your shins parallel to the sky and then start to straighten your legs up again. Inhale here. Exhale, engage your core, feel your low back root down and slowly as you can, lower your heels all the way to the mat. As slow as you can go. When you get to that shaky place, I know I'm there right now, can you tap into that oxytocin? Can you take a long, slow exhale? And then curl the knees back into the chest, hands to the kneecaps, and wiggle it around again. Now bring your arms to a cactus T, your shins parallel to the sky, engage the core, feel your low back root down on the mat, and drop both knees over to the right side as you gaze over the left shoulder. So you wanna think about having the knees stacking on top of one another. If the left knee is just behind the right, that's pretty normal, that's okay. You can think about pulling it forward though so that they stack on top. And then really think about softening that left shoulder blade. And finding the breath here. Long, slow inhale. And long, slow exhale. Inhale, bring it back to neutral. So Low back is on the mat, shins are pointing towards the sky, and then exhale, drop both knees to the left side as you gaze over your right shoulder. Really think about softening that right shoulder. That's gonna help to open up the chest. We'll often we'll carry stress and tension in our chest and in our shoulders. So this is a really good way to soften that here. The gaze can be soft, the eyes can be closed. Just start to honor what feels right for you. Inhale, bring it back to center. Bring your hands to your knees and wiggle it around. Now wrap your arms around your shins and just rock and roll back and forth, side to side, maybe a few circles, giving yourself a hug here. And then find your way to a seat 
as you're ready. So you can rock it back and forth. To get there, you can come to a fetal position and then push your way up. And I want us to start with the soles of the feet on the floor, our knees bent and pointing upright, and then bring your palms to the ground behind the back. Fingertips are pointing inwards. Inhale, feel your chest puff up, your shoulder blades think about coming towards one another. And then exhale, drop both knees to the left side, gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, bring it back to center. And exhale, drop both knees to the left, gaze over the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, windshield wiper to the right. Inhale to center. And exhale to the left. Take about two more on each side at your own rate with your own breath, getting some good twists in, great for digestion, good internal and external rotation in the hips happening. Waking up the spine as well. Good, now bring the knees back to center, walk your hands in and bring your hands to your kneecaps. Feel your sits bones ground down and your spine lengthen. Think about engaging your core here. So drawing the navel in towards the spine. Inhale, gaze up towards the sky. Bring your shoulder blades towards one another. And then exhale, arch your spine. Send the weight back as you gaze in towards your navel. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze up towards the sky. And exhale, arch your spine, gaze in towards your navel. Now inhale, feel your spine get long. And then exhale, bring the legs to crisscross. Uh, if it doesn't feel good to cross your legs here, you can have the legs at like a slight V or straight out in front of you. You can also sit on your heels. Just start playing with what feels comfortable for your body today. Again, there's no right or wrong. And I want you to focus on feeling your sits bones get really, really heavy here. Feel your hands rest on the knees. The core engages as your navel reaches towards your spine. Spine reaches towards the sky, soften your shoulder blades down the back. I always need that reminder. Take a big breath in. And exhale, drop your right shoulder towards your left knee. Try to keep your right sits bones on the, back, on the mat. Inhale. And exhale, four more breaths. Inhale, bring it back up to center. And exhale, drop the left shoulder to the right knee. Keep the left sits bones grounded. Relax the head, relax the neck. Five breaths. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, drop the right shoulder again. Really think about keeping the right sits bones grounded. You should start to feel this in the low back. Focus on the breath, long and slow, moving from a space of ease versus a state of tension. And it's almost honestly something we have to untrain ourselves. I find I notice my body feeling like tense all the time as I'm moving. It's like a trained reaction. But we can soften, we can consciously drop into that parasympathetic nervous system, that space of ease. Inhale, bring it back to center. And exhale, drop the left shoulder, keep the left sits bones grounded and breathe.
Inhale, bring it back to center. And then exhale, you can straighten your legs out in front of you and even give them a little shake. Good, you can karate chop the legs here, start to get some of that lactic acid out. Moving up and down the legs. Good. Now pull the flesh out from under the sits bones. Feel your feet engage, feel your thighs engage and your core engage. We're getting, go, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're going to get in to some seated sun salutations. So bring your hands to either side of your seat. Feel your sits bones ground down, your head reaches towards the sky. The feet and thighs are engaged like you're standing on the ground, pushing into the earth. The thighs slightly rotate inward. Belly button draws in towards the spine, shoulders soft and down the back. And then take a moment to really consciously breathe here. Feel the inhale moving down the front side of the body. And then the exhale moving up and out the back side of the body. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, gaze up. And then exhale, soft and as you fold forward, you can slightly bend the knees, the hands can go wherever they want, they don't have to reach to the toes, they can just come to the earth. Inhale, feel your sits bones get heavy, think about lengthening your spine, looking up, softening your shoulders down the back. Maybe it's good if you get a side view of this. And then exhale, fold forward, relax the head, relax the neck. Feel the feet and the thighs and the sits bones ground down. As you inhale, reach your arms up, gaze towards the sky. And exhale, fingertips meet the earth again. Breathe in and breathe out. We're gonna do that a few more times. Inhale, arms rise, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, relax the head, relax the neck, hands come to the earth. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look up, soften your shoulders down the back. Exhale, soften at your knees, fold forward. Sits bones root down, inhale, reach it up, gaze up, and exhale, fingertips to the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, inhale, arms rise, gaze up high. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the earth, relax the head, relax the neck. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look up. And exhale, soften as you fold forward, feet and thighs stay engaged this whole time. Inhale, reach it up high, gaze up. And exhale, fingertips to the mat, breathe in and breathe out. One, I'm gonna guide you through one more time and then I'm gonna set you through free to move through one at your own rate. Inhale, arms rise, gaze up. Exhale, bow forward, relax. Inhale, lengthen the spine, shoulder blades soften. Exhale, soften as you fold forward. Inhale, arms rise, gaze up. Exhale, fingertips return to the earth, breathe in and breathe out. Now move through one more at your own rate, whatever rate your body wants you to. Pairing your breath with your body's movement. Just begin whenever you're ready.
someone to meet at that staff pose, Dandasana, which is hands at the earth, feet straight out in front of you. I want you to play around, point one foot and flex the other. Pedal the feet back and forth a few times. And then we're gonna move the toes out and down to the side, then move them back in and around. So we're getting some circles and the ankles moving it in one direction. <laughs> Whenever I say in one direction, I think of the band, like every time I cue you that. <laughs> and then reverse it so the toes move in the opposite direction. Maybe there should be a band called opposite direction. <laughs> inside Holly's mind. Welcome to it. <laughs> Good. Now bring your feet back together and bend your right knee. Feel your sits bones ground down. Feel the left thigh engage, the left foot engage. Inhale, sits bones ground. Reach your head towards the sky. Engage the core and soften your shoulders down the back. Now wrap the left arm around your right leg. Give it a hug and gaze to the right side. We're not gonna focus on twisting too much here. You can hold opposite elbows here. You can bring the right hand behind the back as an extra support, like a second spine. And just focus on sits bones, grounding spine, lengthening as you gaze to the right and breathe. Inhale, bring it back to center when you're ready. And you're gonna get a couple of options here. So option one, and I want you to play with these, see what feels right for your body today. Option one is you allow the right knee to fall out to the side, the right foot comes somewhere on the left leg. We're gonna be coming to a forward fold, just so you know where you're going. So this is option one. Option two, this will get more into the hips, um, and I feel it a lot more in the hamstring and the calf. So be gentle, is crossing the right leg over the left and allowing that right knee to fall forward. In both variations, it's really important to keep your sits bones grounded. No matter what that right leg is doing, I want you to bring your hands to frame either side of the left leg, Keep the left foot and thigh engaged, your head reaching towards the sky, shoulder blades softening down the back. Inhale here, and then exhale, start to bow forward. Woo, hamstrings are yelling at me right now. And relax the head, relax the neck, and find the breath. If it feels supportive for you, you can bring the left hand behind the back and the right hand to the outer edge of the left foot. You'll start to feel that in the low back. If the right leg is crossed over, I probably wouldn't do that, but if your right knee is falling out to the side, I think it's a nice little low back addition there. Inhale. <laughs> and exhale, Luna's getting ready for feeding time. You can probably feel her excitement. And breathe, can you feel the breath moving down the front side of the body? And the exhale moving up the back side of the body. Inhale, slowly walk your hands 
up, lift or walk your hands in towards the body, lift your torso up. You could walk your hands up. <laughs> and then if you have the right knee stacked over, I'm gonna give you another option here. If you don't, if you aren't there yet, just hang tight where you are for me. Um, so this is gonna get really into the hips. We're gonna to come to cow face pose. So one option is if the right knee is stacked over the left leg, you can start to bend the left knee and you wanna bring your hands to either side of the sits bones, lift it up so that the sits bones evenly root down on the mat. I can tell you right now, my hips are screaming at me here. This is a lot. So if you take this cow face pose, sitting like this might be more than enough on your hips. You might like to keep the sits bones grounded as you bow forward. Another option is say you had your right knee out to the side, right foot on the left thigh. You can play with now, maybe you feel a little more open, you can cross that right leg over and fold forward if cow pose is not feeling right for you. Another option is that uh, you can bring, if your right foot is on your left leg, you can bring your left foot to meet your right, open up the soles of the feet and fold forward in a Baddha Konasana pose. So it's getting a different type of opening. So we're gonna hang out in whichever variation you want. Wherever you find yourself though, focus on the sits bones grounding down, the shoulder blades softening and the breath. So again, we don't wanna move from a fear state. We don't wanna push ourselves. We don't want an adrenaline rush. We want to tap into our relaxation, to tap into our natural state. Our true state of being is that place of relaxation. We go into fight or flight when there's a predator and that helps us. However, we don't have to move in that way all the time. And I know we're kind of trained into chronic stress in the world today. And this is a space where you can soften. You don't have to fight or flight. You can rest, you can digest, you can tend and befriend. Returning to that natural state of you. And then inhale, start to lift your torso up. I know we have a lot of options going on right now, so I want you to just slowly, <laughs> Luna somehow already finished dinner, find your way to straight legs out in front of you. <laughs> she's a little diaper girl right now, which I'm sure is pretty amusing because <laughs> she's become a woman. She's in heat. <laughs> can shake out your legs once they're straight out in front of you. Can karate chop them. And then we're gonna work on the same things on the opposite side. So begin by bending that left knee and bring the hands to the shin. Feel the right foot and thigh engage. The sits bones root down, the head reaches towards the sky and shoulder blades soften down the back. Inhale here. And then exhale, give yourself a hug. Wrap that right arm around your leg as you gaze towards the left side. You can hold opposite elbows with opposite hand here. Or you can bring the left hand behind the back as a second spine and breathe. Inhale, bring it back to center. And then we're gonna work into that forward fold. So a couple options again. Option one, let the left knee fall out to the side. Keep the right foot and thigh engaged. Bow forward. Option two, cross that left leg over the right. Keep the sits bones grounded. Let the left knee fall forward. Right leg, right foot are engaged, shoulder blades soften. Inhale here. Wherever you are, exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, the sits bones get heavy. And exhale, think about melting the torso into the earth. Relax the head, relax the neck. Find the breath. Inhale, start to lift your torso up. Again, we have a couple options here. If you want to work on that cow face pose, if your hips are okay with it, bend the right knee in. You want to think about stacking that left knee over the right. I need to use my hands to lift my sits bones up and land evenly on both sits bones back on the mat to do this. One side might be totally different than the other. If you could fold forward on the opposite side and can't do it now, you're in good company. If you're like, Holly, this is madness, stop. Um, you can either just fold forward over that left knee, or if you have the left foot on the right thigh, you can bend the right knee in, soles of the feet meet together, a wide diamond, not way close, and then fold forward into that Baddha Konasana. So choose the variation that feels right for your body. And allow yourself to soften here. We do not need to be in a stress state about this. We can relax into this. So if you start to notice spaces of tension in the body can you give them space to be tense? Can you allow it to like, okay, you don't have to hold up here. I've got all the room for you. I'm gonna breathe with you. Notice what happens. I'm gonna inhale. Start to lift it up. Ooh. And then straighten your legs out in front of you. Shake them out. Now widen your legs to a V. It doesn't have to be the world's light, widest V, like I just made it look. It can be like a smaller V, a bigger V. Find your personal V. And then bring your hands inside of the legs. Feel your feet and thigh enga thighs engaged. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky and exhale, lean it over to the left side. Keep the right sits bones grounded. I feel this nice in that low back. Think about stacking the right shoulder over top the left here. You can gaze up towards that right hand or relax the gaze towards the earth. Feet and thighs are engaged. Really nice stretch along the right side body. And then inhale, both arms shoot up towards the sky and exhale, left arm comes to the, or right arm comes to the earth as the left arm leans over to the right side, keeping that left sits bones grounded, thinking about stacking the left shoulder over the right and then either gazing towards the earth or up towards that left hand. And then inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, hands to the earth. Now bring your hands under your knees. Use your hands to give your knees a boost. Lift them up. Bring them together. And then we're going to find our way on to our backs. 
If you have those props, those pillows, blankets nearby, bring them close to you so they'll be easily within your reach before we lie down. And then just slowly lower onto your back. As slow or as fast as you'd like to go. Whew. And then you can bring the heels in, windshield wipe your knees a little from side to side, maybe bring the arms out to a cactus T. It's very likely your low back is feeling a little tight here. So these windshield wipers can help. Good. Now meet with the knees pointing up towards the sky. Feel the core engage, the low back pushes onto the mat and then straighten your right leg up and wave your right foot in the air like you just don't care. And then bring your right ankle to your left knee. Keep your right foot and thigh engaged. Feel the right knee trying to run away from the body as that right glute tries to pull it in. Soften your shoulders down the back. This might be more than enough for your hips. You can hang out here, or you can lift the left foot off in the mat, bring the hands to clasp behind the left thigh, or top the left shin, and soften your shoulder blades down your back, and breathe. And then you can slowly bring both feet back to the mat as you're ready. Maybe windshield wiper, the knees from side to side. And then meet with the knees pointing up towards the sky. Engage the core, feel the low back ground down and then extend the left, left foot in the air. Bring the left knee, the left ankle to the right knee. Keep that low back grounded, the core engaged. Arms can come to a cactus T. Feel that left knee trying to run away as the left glute is active and engaged, trying to pull it in. Maybe breathing here, maybe picking the right foot off of the floor, bringing the hands to clasp behind the thigh or atop the shin. You can bring the feet back to the mat. And then curl the knees into the chest and take any final movements that your body wants here. So if there's anything your body is saying, ooh, pick me, pick me, that it really wants to do, please honor that. And then I'm gonna share with you how we're gonna get into our final resting pose. So if this is a good way to get a little bit of heart and chest opening, we did a lot of forward folds. So this is a little uh, restorative back bending we can get in here. If you have a bolster, a pillow, some blankets, I want you to bring that so they're long against the mat. 
If you have some extra little pillows um, or blocks or books, have those on either side of the mat. This one isn't as necessary. And then I want you to bring the, the pillow or the bolster behind you so that it meets the edge of your back. The knees are bent, soles the feet on the floor, and then slowly lower onto your back. You can let your arms come out to the side. This will get some good chest opening. You can keep the knees bent. You can straighten the legs. You can also allow the knees to fall out to the side, getting some hip opening. And if you let the knees fall out, it's a nice little bonus to have those blocks or pillows to let the knees rest on. And feel free to adjust as needed. So take any little micro adjustments your body wants as you find your way to this final resting pose for today. So just start to notice first what's in the body. Listening to your body here, honoring any gentle movements that it might like. Any little adjustments. If it feels supportive for you, you can rest your eyes. And let's return to that breath we started with at the beginning of class. Think about the inhale moving down the front side of the body all the way towards the sacrum. And the exhale moving up the back side of the body and out the nose. Inhale, traces in through the nose, down the chest, the belly, the base of the spine. Exhale, moves up the spine, the shoulders, the neck, and out the nose. Inhale, moving down the front side of the body. Exhale, moving up and out the back side of the body. Continue to breathe in this way. People are often taught to move through life from a fear state. Using fear as a motivator to activate the, para the, to activate the sympathetic nervous system, to give us an adrenaline boost and put us into action mode. While this can work in the short term, if we rely on this solely, it can lead and will lead to burnout, tension, and not listening to our inner knowing and intuition. People can also learn how to move through life from a relaxed state, our natural state. Instead of burning through adrenaline all the time, 
we can activate our parasympathetic nervous system and give ourselves an oxytocin boost. Consciously making choices to take action from a relaxed state, from our natural state. When we relax the body, we can better listen to it and let us guide us in a more intentional way, in a way that honors the core of our being. Inhale. And exhale. So as we rest here, I invite you to just notice what arises for you. Notice any thoughts or sounds or sensations that start to pull you away. And when they do, Can you return to that sensation of the breath? Inhale, moving down the front side of the body. Exhale, moving up and out the back side of the body. If tension, thoughts start to arise, and just gently bring it back to the breath. There is no place else for you to be. There is no special thing to attain or achieve. There is just this moment. Just this breath. Just this.
Life is not a test. Unclench your jaw. Take a deep breath. Choose to move from a place of rest. Inhale and exhale. Take a moment to gently scan your body from head to toe. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your mind feels. Notice if it's any different from when you began today. As you observe this space of peace and contentment within you, this sense of relaxation from deep within, this is who you truly are. This is your relaxed, natural state. It's like coming home to yourself. And even when the chaos of the world and life comes on in, which it inevitably will, you can return to this. You can take deep breaths, unclench your jaw, and choose to move from your natural state, from your place of rest. Place your hands at the center of your chest in a gesture of gratitude for taking the time to arrive for your body, for your mind, and one another today. Soak it all in. And let's take one more breath together to close. In through your nose, and out through your mouth. And you can slowly open your eyes as you return to this space. Thank you all so much for taking the time to practice with me today, for sharing your energy um, with me and with one another. If you're still resting on your back, we ended a couple of minutes early. So feel free to linger here a little longer if you have time. And if you're ready to transition to what comes next, try to gently ease your way into that. How long can you carry this relaxed state with you as you move through the rest of your day and into the week ahead? My homework that I was given in meditation yesterday that I'm gonna leave you all with as well today is think of one way you can tap into your breath this week. So maybe it's every time you enter in through a new doorway, you take a deep breath. For me, it's going to try to be taking a deep breath before I speak. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yes, tap into that space of rest, this natural state, and we will be back for some time to ground together again next week. If you have any questions, type them in the chat. I know we had some new folks today. Kelsey, I'm so happy you're joining us. Anyone else who hasn't typed in yet, say hey. I think we even have my mom and dad here today, which is awesome. Super glad you guys came. Makes me really happy. Um, and I look forward to seeing everyone next week. You can sign up with the same link um, that you've been using. If you hit the 
the live tab on the website, it should take you to the sign up. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And we'll be back 6 p.m. on Sundays through March. I'll see you guys then. Bree, thank you so much. Ingrid, Kelsey, mom and dad, I think we have. Um, a couple other people on here who haven't said hey yet, so hello. I hope you guys feel refreshed and ready to move through your week. I'm going to go ahead and log us off for today, and I'll see you guys next week.